Good morning YouTube. It is 10.30 a.m. It is Saturday the 14th of December and it is time for Today in My Boo Journal. But hang on a minute, I hear you cry. What happened to Live Miss? Live Miss is still going. Um, or it will be. We're just having a little um, blip. <laughs> uh, what are we now? Saturday. Thursday was what my family called Tree Day. Um, Thursday would have been my father's 69th birthday and every year since he died 12 years ago we have made his birthday our day that we put up our Christmas tree. The whole family come round as it's one day that they are not allowed to abscond from. They must be here. I demand it. Um, so that's what we do and they come around we put up the tree and we just you know we, we have a drink we usually get a takeaway and whatever so yeah that's what we did and then last night on Friday um, I was all set to come on and then I got the news that Stuart's father passed away um, so I really really wasn't in the mood um, I just yeah I just didn't want to do it so I didn't so and then tonight <laughs> right now as this goes live and it's going to go live bang on the time I should be doing live mess I'm watching Alex on his second ever resting show so I can't come on tonight guys sorry because I won't be home until about half 10 11 o'clock and I'm going to be knackered so yeah that's why there's no live mess tonight but hopefully I will have got my shit together enough that I can get back on tomorrow now, I hate when people sit there and gabble without doing anything, and I've just done exactly that for nearly two minutes. Sorry. Okay, so I've now got to try and think back to where we were. So this is Wednesday. I, I did my night care routine. I know I did, because I do it every bloody night, and I never miss it. I've only ever missed it once since I started logging in it. Um, I haven't pulled a card, I just haven't thought about it. Now, where did I log up to? I did the 11th, so that was good. Okay, so let's jump back and check my steps. I was about to reach around for my ruler and it wasn't there. I was like, uh. <laughs> so, uh, these stupid, annoying messages. I wish you could turn them off. Just 15, 6, 7, 4. So that's not too bad, is it? So, yes, I thought I'd come on and quickly do a morning recording that way i can get it edited and up and not have to worry that you guys you know are all going to be there going well where the hell is she she's been absent um yeah i failed in my december dailies i suppose that's what everybody else is calling them isn't it but you know there are times when you just have to go fuck it and take some time off i know i did the dishwasher i honestly can't remember whether i've done anything else and it's all sort of gone to pot really since um, the last few days. I haven't up uploaded anything. Right, where are we? The 11th. That was all ticked off. Okay, so let's switch to Thursday's PEM. And we'll go through. I have to do it day by day, otherwise I forget. And I get confused as to what I'm actually doing. So this is Thursday. <laughs> now, Thursday, I did my daycare routine. This pen is not much darker than the other pen. Daryl watching Batman. I did not wear makeup. I have not done the challenges. I did have a drink. I'm afraid I was naughty. I did have chips. I did not craft. I did not do about today. I did take my meds. And for everybody who now wants to moan at me about taking meds, please don't bother. And drinking. I mean, taking meds and drinking. Again, didn't bother with that. Okay, so Thursday was, all in all, Thursday was fantastic. It was a really, really lovely day having my family here. Um, so I want eight or five. Hi! Hey! <gasps> Do you like my Christmas tree? I forgot you've probably not seen it. I shift, I? No, I haven't. It's good, isn't it? Do you yeah. like it? Yeah. And I will do a purple bauble. I'm out of this one. I want you to do. No, come on, out of the way. Blue. No. Wait. Because I'm not doing blue yet. Right, so that was 12. I like your tree. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. I like my tree. It's very cool. 
Okay, so we need to do sleep and steps for... Yes, yeah, sleep and steps. The next day. Go on, go watch your film then. See ya. Because when that's finished, we've got to watch our film, haven't we? What film? Well, we're going to watch Christmas Chronicles again, aren't we? Yeah. We watched Christmas Chronicles for the first time yesterday. And yeah, and guess, I... and guess what happened to the sleigh? They disappeared. And guess what happened to his hat? He floated away in the bag. And guess what happened? And guess what was in it? <laughs> I lighted that. Um, um, we watched this for the first time yesterday and I actually posted on Facebook there is nothing quite like the magic of watching a Christmas film with a small child and the both of us sat there and we were like oh no he's going to crash and all that it was an amazing afternoon we really really enjoyed and, it and, and then we... it got his hat and then and you oh, went super talk. fast speed did he? yeah what is this? that is mine put it down okay just take a look is this a cough? I want to um, the uh, wrestlers I could get for cri Christmas. No, you're not getting wrestlers for Christmas. I do. See ya in. See ya. So, I slept from 10 to 11 till quarter past 7, but I was awake for a little bit in the night. But I still felt quite good actually when I woke up yesterday. This is that night. Yes, he thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the Christmas Chronicle. I wasn't sure whether he would, because um, it was my idea to watch it, because I'd heard like everybody was so excited for the fact they're making a second one. And um, I was like, oh yeah, you know, we've got to watch this, Daryl. And he was like, I don't want to watch it and all that. And he was quite grumpy about the whole thing. And then um, we actually did watch it and it was awesome. It was really, really good. And I just loved at the end that it was Goldie Horn playing uh, Santa's wife because they've been a couple forever, those two. And they are such a sweet, sweet couple. And I looked it up as well. That is actually his beard. He grew a beard for it. And um, it's mostly his. You can You can tell if you look really, really closely that the underneath has been padded out with you know some extra bit but the top of it is all his apparently he grew it out especially for the film which i thought was lovely and i loved the fact that it wasn't like all pure white because very very few blokes manage pure white don't they not not on the beard on the hair maybe but not on the beard and i was really really pleased that his wasn't so yeah it was, it, it was quite good now thursday that day I know I cleaned the loo because I clean the loo every day I did do some laundry I know that much but I didn't clean anything else up I did the dishwasher but I haven't cleaned I haven't cleaned up and of course the kids put the tree up for me and it looks really really nice well the kids got the tree down from the lot and I, I, I'm the one that decorates it all because I'm it's just my thing that's what I do um, uh, there's mud everywhere all over my house from where they pulled the ladder in from outside and I just haven't cleaned it because I've been a lazy cow I haven't posted so I need to do some posting to catch up so let's have a look now my prime came out and we did tree day which was lovely and I missed April I'm so sorry April but I did warn her I also yesterday look I even wrote it down stuck it in here because I was planning on coming online last night um, Mackenzie sweetheart I'm very very sorry I didn't um, get a chance to tell you yesterday I hope you had a fantastic birthday 15 is a fantastic age mate because you are on that cusp of you're still a kid and you still get to act like a kid before adulthood is looming so make the most of being 15 it's a brilliant age happy birthday okay so that is that look I haven't even trimmed off the corners you guys you didn't tell me about that you all watched me do that as well and leave it. I keep doing that. I'm sure I did that on something else the other week. Now, let's go back to the beginning again. And do yesterday. <laughs> we're getting there. It's all right. We're catching up. We're catching up. It's fine. It's fine. So yesterday. Yesterday was pretty much like today. Um, the day before, really. I didn't do very much. Which is a shame because I love this pencil. So yesterday, I know I did my day face cream. I did not do any of that. I did not have, I did not have any cola. 
that's what I'm tracking by the one can or less is um, caffeinated fizzy drinks or soda drinks as you guys call them um, I may well still be drinking other f sodas like lemonade or Fanta because that's a fruit one um, I'm tracking that I'm not having caffeine because caffeine is what's doing my nutting a lot of the time but saying that I had Fanta last night and I did have a drink because you know I had a drink on behalf of the man that I've considered my father-in-law for years and my skin reacted so I'm not sure whether it's the Fanta whether it's the alcohol or what it is so this is something this is interesting so Daryl does the cat want to go out so yes, while I did not have any caffeine, I did have booze. I did not have chips. Thank you, baby. Dot craft, I did not do the batch today. I did take my meds. I was also sick as a dog last night. Um, I only had one drink, so it wasn't that. Um, but I had reheated Chinese food, and I suspect it might have been that. Even though I've eaten reheated Chinese food billions of times. Yeah, I had that, and I went to bed quite early it's about ten and half ten I think it was and I, oh god hang on here comes the dog now can you let the dog out as well Daryl thank you baby don't forget to let her back in again um, yeah I went to bed about what half ten um, yeah and I lay down I thought oh, I've got tummy ache you know and um, actually I think it's going to do the same colour for both and I got up and I went to the toilet and one of the side effects of these tablets is that they make you a bit constipated. And I went to the toilet and nothing happened and I thought, oh God, you know. And I went back to bed and I got up twice more and again only maybe a little bit or nothing happened. And sorry about the graphics. And um, and all that and I was like, for fuck's sake, you know. I'm like, and I heard Alex get up and go as well. So I thought it was that fucking Chinese because we both had reheat Chinese. It got to the point where the pain got quite uncomfortable and I thought I'm going to have to go and spend a little bit of time sitting on the loo even though I was already in bed by this point and feeling quite sleepy. So I went and I sat on the loo and sat there, sat there, sat there, sat there, sat there and I managed to go and then um, after going to the toilet I turned around and threw up in it. I slept okay-ish afterwards. Um, Scratched my throat in the process of being sick, which wasn't very nice. Okay, so yesterday was Friday. Um, I know I cleaned the loo, I did do some laundry. Because Alex's show is today and I needed to wash his kit. But I didn't do anything else, I did put, no, I didn't put the dishwasher on. Yes, I did, I put it on before I went to bed. And it was Christmas jumper day, but Daryl did not wear a Christmas jumper because he doesn't have one. There were no races to set up, even though I did check. And Alex did a spirit shift at work. Okay, so today's pen. Today's pen. Don't worry, we'll get into the other part of the journal in a minute. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't even put my day face cream on. I've got out of bed and thought I need to do this for everybody. So here I am. <laughs> I had a comment on my review of this deck. Um, the other day and the lady said that she just got hers and she was very very excited she said she's going to trim it down and I've thought about trimming mine down but I can only trim it down as far as the picture which might actually help I might do that because I know that my son has bought me a trim and score and I might trim it down and then I've seen somebody do this they trimmed their deck down and then with like that's ended up at the bottom again that's so freaky Okay, let her in then. And then with like a little gold pen, they put down in the corner what it was. So like for the night, because at night and a king both are okay, they put an N for night and then, you know, just NW or like on this one, 7B, just down in the corner, which I might try that. Because you won't lose a lot off of there. You lose a bit of the butterfly maybe. I would lose a lot off the butterfly, but... The dog is now back in. Okay, thank you very much. That's very helpful. It's okay. This might make it a little bit easier to flip in. Put that knight in the middle of the deck because he ends up at the bottom. Oh, you jumped. You want out, do you? Let's have a look. Let's see what you are. 
four of cups. Oh, yeah, that's about right. Cups are to do with emotion. Very much so to do with emotion. And, um, well, he looks very miserable, doesn't he, this chap? Okay, so let's find what are we doing? Everyday enchantment, that's 925. And it is the 14th today, my God, where does the time go? This young chap here is feeling depressed. This card screams depressed. This card screams how alone this person is feeling. And you know, I can relate. There's, even though there's a friend here, okay? And even though he's got a nice expensive phone, which is probably loaded up with social media and all of that lot, he feels alone. Yeah, he feels depressed, he feels down, he is sad and he feels alone. This is one thing that people who do not suffer from depression do not understand. It is possible to be surrounded by people and to still feel alone. Okay, if this is you, reach out. You have friends, you do have people there. Um, even if it's family, even if it's your own children, there are people out there that care about you. Okay, if this is not you, check in with your mates, yeah? Check in with your friends that maybe don't have a large family or especially at this time of year. You know, people, it, it, it seems a bit cheesy when people say it and when they say, oh, well, you know, why is Christmas any different? For those that are alone, it's not. It's not any different. It's still another day that they're alone, but it is made worse because everybody is preaching about family and about how, you know, you, you read it on the internet. Oh yeah, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on a plane and go and visit my family who live in wherever. And yeah, my whole family are getting together, blah, 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 blah. So a friend of mine, for example, today, um, she's driving a couple hundred miles to go to visit her in-laws. Her husband, unfortunately, is working, which she's rather bummed about, but it's tradition. And she's packed up their four children into a car and they are driving a couple hundred miles to go and visit his family for their Christmas party. Everybody's doing that. A lot, of, well, not everybody, but a lot of people are doing that. They get together with their families at Christmas. They spend the day with their family at Christmas. They, they do things as a family at Christmas. For these people who feel like this young person does, that's torturous because they still feel alone. They might feel like they're the black sheep of the family. They might feel like they're, you know, in the case of this person, he looks quite young. So he might be a teenager. So he might not be allowed to go anywhere else. I didn't let my children go at Christmas day. No, that was the day you spent at home with your family. I was always adamant and I still am. That is the day you spend with your family. Um, <laughs> So it might be enforced that you're with your family, but he still feels alone. Maybe he's not got a lot of friends. Maybe, you know, maybe he's just split up with a girlfriend. You know, maybe, maybe a close friend has recently passed away or something like that. There is something that is making this young person feel very, very lonely. Check in if you know people like this. If this is you, talk to your family, get some support, okay? Okay, I put loneliness, feeling lonely while being surrounded by friends, reach out to others. Always, always reach out, never ever sit there thinking that you are worthless or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to do that until tonight. I will fill in my sleep, however. Which I say last night was not very good. Why is it children have to be forced out of bed every day of the week? And Saturday comes around and the little shits are awake from seven o'clock. <laughs> yeah, I've got to kick you out of bed every day this week. And then I'm thinking, there, eh, Saturday I'll get a line. I even made him stay up an hour later last night. And he was late going to sleep because I put him to bed and then I accidentally left the upstairs light on, the hall light, while I had a bath, which meant his, his room was quite lit. And um, he was in there playing when he should have been sleeping. And I'm trying to have a bath in peace and quiet. And he was still awake when I got out, which, I, you know, that winds me up. And I'm like, you should have been asleep. But it was my own fault because I left the bloody light on. I learnt that one a uh, while ago. And if you've got a kid that can't sleep, are you leaving, like, the light in the hallway on and it's lighting up their room so that they're getting distracted? Because that's what I was doing. So it's much easier now that I've turned the light off. So it means he's actually sleeping a little bit. Today I have, I've filled the dishwasher up and put it on. I know that much. 
Um, so I can. It's 14th, isn't it? Yes. So I can mark that one. And then I'm going to go around and I'm going to do some tidying up because my kitchen's a mess and the bathroom hasn't been cleaned. <laughs> so, although the bathroom's due tomorrow, but I'll still do it and I need to do the banister because I didn't do that the other day. So I can get that done. And I haven't cleaned the microwave yet either. Oh, dear me. But then I haven't used the microwave since I last cleaned it. I guess I did. I reheated Chinese last night. <sighs> I should have had some bills come out today, so I will check those in a minute. I'm going to miss Wendy's life tonight, which, you know, I'm pissed off about that, but there's not really much I could do. It's Alex's show, and she's not going to move her live for my show, is she? Which I think is bloody rude, but there you go. <laughs> Just kidding, Wendy. Okay, so I can chat that now because I've said happy birthday to Mackenzie. So let's see, where are we in the journal? Now, I made my little pocket, yeah? I journaled about Wednesday in there, and then I journaled about tree day there, and I also made this nice little collage. Look, I made a collage. Aren't you impressed? I'm fucking impressed. Isn't it great? So what I need to do now is i'm going to turn the light on so apologies while the screen briefly wipes out and everything shakes it's just getting dark because there's this massive rain cloud appearing over there um it rained yesterday as you can see so let's get in and get yesterday sorted it doesn't rain much because those poor guys have got to move that entire wrestling ring from their training area to where they're holding the show I can't imagine that's a very pleasant job when it's raining. I can't imagine it's a very pleasant job anyway because the training area is upstairs. Um, I'm just going to put that there to stop the glare. The training area is, is like up a load of stairs. And this is a massive wrestling ring. So they've got to take it to pieces, lug it all the way down these stairs, stick it in a van, drive 10 miles, and then lug it up a whole load of other stairs to where we're having the show tonight. something else I needed to do actually I've just remembered something I try to keep a record of and I keep forgetting to do it probably because it's in a different book is um, right down when we watch fi new films you know I've done something similar for next year but I think the following year I might just document it on the pages where I actually watch it because I know my dad would have loved that. That's partly why we watched it yesterday. So that's my tree, which I really actually enjoyed doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I basically, I spent the day at home. I didn't do much. I had a very nice, quiet, relaxing day at home. And um, that was it. So I'm going to quickly write that. And then we'll get on. Stuart's parents. Now, I'm aware of the fact that I've not done any challenges for, well, since Wednesday. So I've got Thursday, Friday and today to do. So let's have a look and see what they are. 12 is a snow angel. Oh, what you mean like what you do in the when you lie down on the ground? A spinning top and a hat. Okay. So I'm gonna probably just draw them over here. And um, I'll hype up you through this bit and I'll be back in a bit.
Okay. Right, that took a little while. So, for Saturday, oh, I can't remember what order they come in, but there was a hat, still a bit wet, a snow angel and a spinning top, and the words were gingerbread, Christmas lights and Christmas tree. Up so you can see it. Um, yeah, so that's now all done. So I'm just gonna leave that page probably like that. And what I'll do is I'll journal a wee bit there and then I'll just move straight over onto this page. I should probably have some photos to put in here from tonight. Well, I hope to anyway. And um, yeah, there we go. So again, my apologies for not being here, but you know, I'm sure you understand. But let's just, just the way it is. Um, I should be glad to see the back of 2019. I really will. Let's hope next year will be better, eh? That is my word for next year, better. Fingers crossed. Um, any comments, questions, suggestions, please do leave them down below. Uh, or, you know, join us tomorrow when I will be back for live miss. Don't forget to click the book down here in the corner and you will be subscribed. And if you hit the bell, you'll be notified when I upload new content or indeed when I go live. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And thank you for your understanding. I really, really do appreciate it. And I really appreciate those of you that keep coming back. You're fantastic. And I will see you in tomorrow's edition of Livemas in my boo channel. <laughs>